We're learning more about the arrest of a former Coyotes forward, Alex Galchenyuk, where he threatened to kill a police officer in Scottsdale. Police have released new body camera footage of the incident. Stop reaching for stuff. This is true. You just threatened to cut me up. Are you going to step out of the car? Just step out now. Out of the car. During the arrest, police say he hurled profanity at them, threatened to kill the officer and his family. He was arrested in July after crashing a BMW into a sign and a curb near Scottsdale and Shea. Police say he was heavily impaired. In August, most of the charges against him were dismissed, but he did end up pleading guilty to misdemeanor threatening. And the team waived him following his arrest. The Coyotes uh, let him go. In a letter, Galchenyuk apologized to the Coyotes, their fans and police, for his, quote, despicable and disrespectful behavior, saying he is checking himself into a substance abuse program. All right, new at noon, two women from California indicted on felony charges for organized retail theft. 29-year-old Insha Hay Turner and Devani Renault accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from stores in the Valley. Maricopa County attorney says the thefts happened in Phoenix, Gilbert, Glendale, Queen Creek, and also Scottsdale. They're accused of stealing from 12 different stores, most recently just last week when officers arrested them after a chase. County Attorney Rachel Mitchell says this was not merely shoplifting, but carefully planned out thefts. Both are suspected of similar crimes in California and Nevada. A man is behind bars after a crash that left a woman dead. He's 36-year-old Dustin Peck. The crash happened Friday night near 7th Avenue and Beardsley Road. Phoenix police say Peck was heading east on Beardsley when he read a red light at 7th Avenue, jumped the median, and hit another car stopped at the intersection. 77-year-old Maxine Karstead was killed. Peck is now facing charges of manslaughter and DUI. On a Fox 10 News alert from the overnight hours, Glendale police investigating a stabbing. A video of the scene happened near 51st and Glendale Avenues just around 11.30 last night. We're being told the victim was stabbed in the chest, found on the sidewalk, treated in the parking lot of that Chevron gas station that you see right there before being rushed to the hospital. As soon as we get an update on the victim's condition, maybe possible suspect information, we will bring that to you immediately. First five, a family left heartbroken and desperately trying to find more answers after their daughter was found dead near Steel Indian School Park back in February. Her family gathering today at Phoenix Police Headquarters, and that's where we find Stephanie Bennett with the latest details on this case. Steph? Good evening, guys. Yeah, it was an emotional plea for help this afternoon, and the shooting appears to be at random right now. There's so little information to go off of that police have not released a suspect description. That's where the public needs to step in. Carissa's mother. Carissa was my only child. <laughs> she was my world. Carissa was very kind and humble. She liked doing things for people. The family of Carissa Danielle Hamilton gathering to remember the young mother who was taken way too soon. There's not one second of the day that I don't think about her. I really, really miss her. And they say that time heals. It's been nine months and it seems to be getting worse every day. I don't like being alone. 29 year old Hamilton was found shot to death in a parking lot inside her gray Nissan Altima around 10 p.m. on February 5th. It happened near Steel Indian School Park near Central Avenue and Indian School Road, leaving police with no answers as to who's responsible. I never did I imagine someone would have hurt her because she was a good person. She was a kind person. Again, we're reaching out to get the help of our community to find the person responsible for this horrific crime. Her loss has left the family broken. Hamilton moved to Phoenix from Yuma in the fall, wanting to provide a better life for her son. Family says it was her dream to become a sports reporter. She was quiet and always put others first. It's been nine months since her brutal passing. They fear justice may never be served. There's a big void in our lives that she was the one that Feel that please, if you know anything, please, please come forward. She was a really good person. She had a good soul. We don't know who could have done this. So please, if you know something, please come forward. 
SILENT WITNESS AND HAMILTON'S FAMILY ARE, are OFFERING A $10,000 REWARD FOR ANY INFORMATION LEADING TO AN ARREST. YOU CAN ALWAYS CALL PHOENIX POLICE DIRECTLY OR SILENT WITNESS AT 480-WITNESS. REPORTING LIVE TONIGHT IN PHOENIX, STEPHANIE BENNETT, FOX 10 NEWS. Thanks, Steph